In this video we'll be looking at paragraphs and bullets. These are two very basic functions that most people don't know in depth. So we're going to do a good overview. Uh, what I did is I took a very nice resume and then on this one, on the left, I've removed everything that related to fonts and size, color, uh, bold, italics, stuff like that. On the right, I did the opposite. I removed the bullets, I removed the, the paragraphs. You can see that on this one, on the left, it's less sexy. It's not cute to look at, but you have a better idea of how much Where points there on this are side. Under it's each much section. harder to read. However, I've kept something on both sides and it's the table format. It already does a very good job at breaking the resume into sections. Okay, so give me a moment to zoom in right here. Alright, so I'm at the same spot on both sides of my Word documents and this one is the one we're going to be working in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be looking at is line spacing. Under Format, you choose Paragraph and we'll be hanging out at this window a lot today. So line spacing at single is everything is like very close together. If I go double, guess what happens? Boom! That's a very good way to make a university paper go from five pages to ten pages like the prof requested. But that's not going to be useful for us today. So we're going to put it back to single. And what we want to work with more... Oh, let's just see what it does. Okay. What we want to do is work with before and after. Let's say I select before and I hit the arrow twice. It brings me to 12 points. Now this was my selection and notice that there's a black highlight right there and it's before. Now if I switch it around 0 before and 12 after you saw what happened. So this is much better for handling uh, bullets and the, the sub points of my resume but I don't think we need as much as 12 I think 6 works just fine now let's see how we can apply that before and after function at the top of the resume what I dislike about this current setting is this line is too far from Lauren Smith from the, the name I want this space here to be gone and I want more space down here. The space comes from this guy here. So, oh, I'm going to head for the paragraph function. It's probably six after, right? No, they're both at zero because when you're playing with a big font, it's not in the before and after that you're going to find your solution, but with the line spacing. The fact that the font is at 22 calls for a larger line spacing. So what I want to do is bring it down and I'm going to use exactly. Okay? And I need at least 22 but probably a bit over. And at 25, well, I got a lot closer. The, this piece of text now and I want to add to this more space now. There before this line. So I'm just going to go format paragraph and say before six like this. Okay, now going back down to our points down here, I'm going to show you how to play with indentation. That's about controlling how wide your paragraph is and it's especially useful with bullets. Okay, so if I select this piece, the same piece as earlier, my indentation marks are these. These little triangles and that little rectangle at the bottom, there's three indentation marks. Okay? Let me show you how you see the real value of what you're doing with the little arrows. Because when you're playing with arrows, you don't really know that, oh, I moved the left indent by, you know, 39 hundredths of an inch and a quarter of an inch for the first line. Hmm, geez. But you can be very precise. When you use bullets, you go under Format Paragraph. The easy thing to do to make nice bullets is just to hit 0 left, 0 right, 
under special you want hanging indent and bring it down to 0 0.2 okay and now I have a mess because of the paragraph tab, the little tab thing, the little tab symbol that you should just remove, get it out of the way. And now you're good. Okay, it can get annoying to play with these arrows if you're not used to it, because sometimes you think you're above the triangle when you're actually moving the rectangle, and sometimes there's this tab little thing that I removed. It can get really um, annoying. So be you careful forget about you're playing with that. Okay, so you saw me create the bullets using that little thing there. It's an on-off switch like a lot of those things. The sub-menu is under format, right under paragraph. Bullets and numbering. Now, there's a lot of funky bullets in there, like never use those. Like, they're not professional, they're ugly. You have many, many, many choices, but really, just a round, a small black round, a small black square, or just a little dash. These are the only things that you can get away with. So that's it. We have other great videos on the Ruby Resumes website.